she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop Kip pasa suck pa say what they do Welcome to Crime Time News where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz This one is called tragedy 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 Do you ever wonder why it seems as if the good always D.I.E. Young And some of these low lives That are creating all sorts of chaos and catastrophe It seems as if they always live forever That tells you that life definitely is not fair There's a town that is called Seaford Town That is in West Milan This place is one of those places Where you call a retro Jamaica where family and friends, everybody live good together. Everybody looks out for each other kids. Family are tight-knitted. That is said to be the same as it pertains to a couple of people from a family that lost their life. In a place called Myrtle Beach that is in South Carolina, that is in the United States of America. This family is from Seaford Town in West Milan. Based on the information, it is said that a mother and her son and her two, our friend and the friend's daughter, lost their life in a fiery C R A S H of the plain type in a South Carolina. I am speaking about 32 year old Tanik Shu, that is the mother. Seven-year-old Sean Gardner, that is the son. Forty-two-year-old Suzette Edwards, that is a mother, the friend of Tanik. And seventeen-year-old Odessia Edwards, that is the daughter of the friend of Mrs. Shaw. Now, people, based on the information, it is said that Mrs. Shaw. She's from Jamaica, like me tell you. Her son lives in Jamaica still in a seaford town with the father. The mother, however, moved to New Jersey in the United States a couple of years ago. Don't know the situation. Everybody wants to leave Jamaica for a better life. So therefore, she's probably over there or was over there on some sorts of sacrifice. Now, Mrs. Shu is one of those persons that is very ad adventurous. She likes to spend good time. She works hard, so therefore she plays hard. And the fact that the son lives in Jamaica, and the fact that she's been away for, from the son since she has moved or migrated, so therefore, whenever it is a summer holiday, she makes arrangements. Such was the case this year. It is said that the son left school holiday and he went to visit the mother in New Jersey. The mother in New Jersey made some sorts of plan to visit some friends in a place called Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach is in South Carolina, United States, like I say. However, based on information, I think that she was coming back in a private piper one of those twin Cessnas, I guess I am not 100% sure. However, it was a private plane. Apparently, the person that owns the plane was the operator flying the plane. He is also from New Jersey. So, I am assuming he is a friend or he was hired by Miss Shu. Don't know the specifics as it pertains to that. They went to North Myrtle Beach in South Carolina and they spent some time. It is said that they were coming back. I guess they were headed to New Jersey. Don't quote me. However, about two miles into the flight, as soon as they take off, it seems as if there was some sort of mechanical problem and the pilot lost control and that plane plummeted to the ground it is said it was a F-I-R-E-R-Y, C-R-A-S-H. I am assuming that everybody lost their life in that C-R-A-S-H. 
So here are the names again just for clarity. 32-year-old Tanik Shu. She is the mother. She is from that place, Seaford Town in a West Milan. She was living overseas, New Jersey to be specific. The son, Sean Gardner, seven year old, he came up to visit the mother for the summer holiday. Her friend, Suzette Edwards, 42 year old. The daughter of Suzette Edwards, 17 year old, Adasia Edwards, and also the pilot, the owner of the plane. Everybody, it is said, perish. Nobody lived. Just as they took off from the airport, may not know the specifics of exactly what happened. However, it is said that this incident occurred last Sunday, so exactly a week before today. It is said that that community in Seafort, everybody is in mourning because everybody knows everybody. One of those old time tradition places that does not exist anymore in Jamaica. One of those places where the village would raise the child. That means uh, me look out for your picnic, you look out for my picnic. We have some sorts of community watch to make sure that community is safe and no sorts of riffraff not going there. So therefore, whenever your child or somebody in your family lose their life, it is going to affect, the domino effect is going to be very, very bad. Based on information, it is said that the whole community is in mourning because them can believe say, this family that is so decent, that is loved by everybody. I am talking about Tanik. She used to attend... Um, Anchovy High School. I am talking about the son, Mr. Sean Gardner, seven year old. He attended Mount Alvernia Catholic School that is in Montego Bay. It is said that when the father, Mr. Gardner, heard the news, he has not been the same since. It is almost as if he might go crazy because he cannot believe a son that he just saw less than a month ago is gone. It is said that this father also wanted to sell the vehicle that he used to transport his son to school. People, the facts again, they are from Seaford Town that is in West Milan. This father drops his son to Mount Alvernia School that is in Montego Bay every day. So people, it shows you that there is care. It shows you that they think about the future of their children. It shows you that they go, they make the sacrifice to make sure that their children is okay. Because like me say, the mother from that community, the mother has been living in the United States. So therefore, like all caring and responsible mothers, they are going to make arrangements. Not going to say that you have to be rich. However, people make sacrifice to see their children because they know that it is very important in the bring up or the brought up see of them picnic. The father likewise, he drops his son from West Milan to Montego Bay every day, five days a week. And based on what the brother of the father an ex gardener has to say, his brother is so distraught. People from the community have to rally around him. Make sure that they're there for emotional support. Make sure say, this man don't do anything to hurt himself. And like I said before, the father says he wants to sell the vehicle that he takes his son to school in five days a week because it brings back memory now what is so sad about this situation is with all the tragedy that we hear in a jamaica with all the dysfunctionality immorality and ethical stuff and family that we see it is always good to hear it is like a breath of fresh air 
when we hear about a family that live that traditional life that you and I are probably used to. This new generation don't know anything about. They don't know nothing about compassion. They don't know nothing about family structure. They don't know nothing about living in a decent community where everybody gets along. It takes a village to raise a child. And that is why Jamaica is the way it is. When we hear of tragedies like this, and we hear say some good people gone, and we see all of the riffraff them out there that are doing all sorts of BS. It pains you, especially when you as a person come from a decent home. That home does not have to be rich. It is all about effort. It is all about sacrifice. It is all about family. The truth and the fact is that back in the days, if you have money and you have the visa and you can afford it, people leave from school, then fly overseas. At worst, if you're poor, you are going to make some sort of arrangement. So therefore, if you come from Kingston and you have family in a St. Mary, St. Anne, wherever, you are going to take some sort of trip. You are going to form some sort of bond of family coming close together to enjoy themselves. That is what is lacking in a Jamaica right now. So therefore, when we hear about this and you can relate, it is going to hurt you. Even though those persons are these people are not your family. Anybody with any sense of decency can relate. This mother left her child, went to the United States for a better life. She has been there every summer or so. She makes arrangements, she makes sacrifice and makes sure that she spends quality time with her child. Take some sort of vacation. She left from New Jersey and she went to South Carolina to visit some friends. It seems as if these was the friends or this was her friend that also lost her life with her daughter. So therefore, Miss Shu and her son Sean lost their life along with her friend that she went to visit along with the pilot. Everybody D-E-A-D-I-N-G. Whenever there's a set of family or a family that makes a lasting impression where whenever them gone, the whole community feel it. It is as if everybody there is B-L-O-O-D. And according to the teacher of Mr. Edwards, his name is Mr. Foster. The grade one teacher, so therefore he was seven, he is now eight. So therefore he is going into grade two as an eight-year-old, seven going on to eight. The teacher, the school is in mourning. Everybody stressed out because the teacher said, You see that little boy there, him decent. You see the mother and the father, them decent. The teacher make you know, say, listen. This little youth had a bright future. He was helpful. He was very obedient. And people, that is because of the foundation that was laid by the father and the mother. So that is why when you read the comment section on social media, even on YouTube, and you hear people say, Wait, I want to go on for Jamaica. How Jamaica seems as if it gone to the dogs. It is because the decent people, them, they are not used to what we are seeing right now. This is like a culture shock. This is not even Jamaica type of culture. This is some sorts of new wave, demonic sorts of spell that is going through Jamaica like some sorts of terrible, natural, bad, mystic in the ear. People, you and I can relate if you're a decent person. Because whenever we hear any sorts of decent people losing their life, and then we see the people um, that are creating all sorts of chaos and catastrophe just a run round loose. People, this is sad. Condolences to the family. 
the neighbors, the school, everybody associated with these people, one way or other, indirectly or directly, it is sad. Sorry for your loss. That is all I can say. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.